Here's five tips building space planes. Number one, add wings later. Typically, the best place to start is with fuel tanks. Position your tanks and then empty them of all fuel. Observe the center of mass as you fill and empty the fuel tanks. Ensuring the center of mass isn't dramatically moving while you burn fuel will help maintain a stable center of lift. A good center of lift never strays too far from the center of mass. A center of lift that's distant from the center of mass will cause your plane to flip. Rearrange your wing pieces so that the center of lift is always near the center of mass. Number two, lift and thrust. A good test if your aircraft has enough wings is to simply cut the engine. If the prograde yellow indicator follows your aircraft, then you are producing enough lift. A good way to tell if you don't have enough thrust is if you cannot increase speed while you climb. An aircraft with an ideal amount of thrust can push its own weight uphill. Number three, landing gear. Rear landing gear should be placed close to the center of mass to help your plane pick up its nose at liftoff. Larger planes may require multiple landing gear or additional lifting surfaces on their nose. Number four, flight surfaces and SAS. Flaps, fins, and rudders may be handy, but good old reaction wheels might be the way to go. Reaction wheels provide torque, keeping your nose pointed in the right direction. Their only drawback is if you should lose power, and your vehicle may become unstable. Number five, forcing lift. To an extent, you can force the lift indicator to move about your model by adding flight surfaces to various areas such as under boosters, rotated inside fuel tanks, and cockpits. It's also sometimes handy to disable these flight surfaces. This can be a handy trick for moving the lift indicator a great deal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in next time for 5 tips getting to orbit.